Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Chill and Chart, a game which I heard about and immediately knew I just flipping had to play, because it is a game about chilling and charting. Literally, this is this is me down there. Hello, that's me, I'm a little explorer down there, a female explorer, I guess, or just a male explorer with a diamond stuck in the back of his face, we don't really know. But basically, my job is, I'm on an island, and what I need to do is I need to chart the island by literally drawing a map. I need to draw a map of this island. Um, I've got the third person camera, which helps a little bit, but it can't actually go anywhere but above my character. So I can move my character around, that's fine, and also also walk on water. I'm apparently playing as some form of map making Jesus, marvellous. And all I need to do is get out my map, that brings my mouse cursor on, and then I simply pick a pencil, pick a colour, and then just say, yet yeah, the island looks like this. Absolutely, and then the ocean's like that bit, and then there's a giant terrifying wildebeest, but with horns, it's scary because it's got eyes like that, and also wings, which it looks more like a fly than a wild. It's, it's, it's like a fly-wildebeest hybrid, lives on the middle of the island. If the island looked like that, then that's what I'd draw, but I, I probably shouldn't do that because that's not actually what's here. Well, probably not, there might be, but literally that's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I'm just on this island and I need to actually kind of just draw a little map of this island. Um, This is actually originally a browsing game. It is a free game. Link in the description below to this. This is just on uh, itch.io and yeah, you can download it, which is what I've done, or you can play it as a browser game for free right now. So if you go into the link in the description, you could actually play this with me right now for free and me and you can draw a map together of the same island. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, I didn't know that did that. That's cool. Right, so it's going to be night. It's going to be harder to chart at night. So right, all I need to do is I need to basically, if we get the um the exterior of the island sorted, then that'll be a good starting point. So and obviously I need to make sure I get the scale right. So if I'm going to bring the map up right now, we're going to go over to a yellow... No, get rid of get rid of that, thank you. So if I started like around here and just, you know, there's a little bump here. So I could have like the beginning of the beach. Oh, but that's going to be no one. Had... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Also, um, I can't name the island because that doesn't seem to actually um work in the downloader version. In the browser version, you can. So I'm wishing I'm playing the browser version, damn it. Uh, right, so there's north and I've got a compass. Oh, bloody hell. Is is red north or, or south? Hang on. Claire? On a compass, is red north and white south. Okay, so we've confirmed red ought to be the north. So, I need to orientate my map correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the south of the island. Because if I'm at the south of the island, then I can start at the bottom and I can work my way up from there. But yeah, I now know on the, yeah, on the west of the island, we've got a fairly big beach that's actually pretty darn thick. So probably we ought to kind of like start going and then we can like, you know, top it up with details later. As long as we like get the basics right, then we can just kind of double check how we're all, oh, all oh, the beach is confusing. Right, okay, so the beach is a confusing thing, but that's fine because this is the most southerly point of the island. So I can start from here, I can get like, you know, the little kind of dagger point on the end of the beach in the map. And then from there, I think the beach is pretty smooth around. There's a bit of an indent around there, but actually not too bad. And this here is the most southern point of the entire island. And there's a rock here. We better include the rock. I don't think we need to include like each individual tree. Like when you buy a map, you don't expect each individual tree to be on it because then it'll just like go out of date really quickly. So you have to worry about that. But yeah, having like the, the big rocks, that's... Oh, hang on. Ah! Okay, this is a bit more interesting. There's something going on. Ah, there's a cliff. There's a cliff around this side. So the beach is only like, I'm going to assume that's up the center of the island, give or take. So, okay, we've got the basics here as night falls and everything's very pretty. So, start at the bottom of the island here. Go over to my yellow pencil. So if we say we start about here-ish, yeah, if we kind of say that we go, hang on, hang on, just remind myself how the, yeah, there's there's a sticky out bit down that way, then it's like a, a like, then it's like, you know, flat along the bottom, then round there, then a bit of an indent, then it goes all the way around the north. Okay, so, so if we just say uh, it goes down there, then around here, then it goes up there, and then it starts going around here, but then there's a bit of an indent somewhere, and then it starts going around here, that's a good starting point, probably, except, oh, I don't have brown, 
Should have brought brown, damn it. Right, and I'm also going to mark, hang on, let's put the map away for a second. So there's a big rock over there. Yeah, that is turtle rock, because it looks a bit turtly. And that's like on the beach that's like here-ish. So I'm going to colour that in. So we've marked turtle rock. So there's turtle rock there. Okay. Now what we need to do is how far up? Yeah, the beach goes a fair way up to just north of Turtle Rock. And then I think it's actually quite a wide beach, but I think it gets a bit narrower as it goes around the coast. So that is going to be like our starting point. I don't know how far the beach goes around to the north. We're just going to leave that for now. And instead, what we need to do now instead is we need to like head inland. Because, yeah, then we hit some green stuff. That's fine. That's presumably grass. And we're into trees. And then we need to figure out just exactly how far round the cliff goes. Ah, but first, up here next to Turtle Rock, we've got an even bigger rock. Okay, put the even bigger rock on the map here. So we've just got, like, a big rock right here. So that's that's that big rock. Maybe it's kind of like that. Maybe we shouldn't put every single rock on. Maybe that's a bit of a waste. But we've also got, uh... Hmm... How do I mark the cliffs? Like, this is actually, like, a nice, a nice green bit that goes around here. So what I probably ought to do is, yeah, maybe not every single individual rock. Maybe turtle rocket. Oh, there's an inland sea over there. Or a lake or something. Right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What I need to do now is... Uh, how far over did this island go? Oh, I think my map might need to be more... Hmm. Okay, I can just... Okay, the scale might be a bit squeezed, but... Hmm. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna get rid of all this. I'm gonna start again, but like we're going to do it so it's like more like in the right position. So we've got more space. So the indent in, yep, and then round here, and then it goes like that, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. And then wide beach, and then a much more narrow beach as it goes along. Don't forget turtle rock and turtle rock's big brother, even bigger turtle rock. Okay. Now that we've got that, we can start saying, okay, there's going to be some grass kind of going off in this direction. Right. So that's down there. And then that just kind of goes around the corner and forms a little kind of sticky outy bit over here. Yeah, and then there's a, a darker grass bit here. So this doesn't actually go up that far. So we'll kind of, we'll put that on like to, hmm, hang on. Where, where does the, where does that go around to? Okay, so that goes like round the outside to a jutty outy bit. So we're going to say there's a jutty outy bit, like, all the way out to here. And also, that's going to, like, continue, like, round a bit, but also we need to check how far round that goes. And then this is, like, where there's some... Are the trees on the light bit? Yeah, there's a few trees on the light, but we don't need to mark the trees. We need to figure out whether the little stick... Oh, yeah, the sticky outy bit goes down further to the south than the end of the... Be oh, maybe just... Maybe just, but not much. And then we've got, is this an inlet or a lake? Ah, it's a little inlet. Okay, fine. So the sea actually just comes in a bit over here. Fine. And this bit goes down there and then it sticks up a little bit over in this direction. So we simply say it kind of goes down to the bottom. Okay, and then it goes like around here. And then it goes up a bit. And then like in a bit. Wait, hang on. Then like, then like that? Wait, hang on. So, no, 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 wait, it goes, it goes down, then it forms like an open cone, comes up here, then there's like a right angle, and then it joins up to the end, and that's like the edge of like a cliff over here, because that bit's pretty bloody steep and I shouldn't throw myself off it. So yeah, like up here, and then it like turns at like a right angle over in this direction, okay? So that bit's, that's the bit's the peninsula we've been on right now. And then, over here, it kind of joins up to the darker bit of ground. And also down here, yeah, we've got the inlet. And then we've got, yeah, the inlet which kind of goes to, like, two-thirds of the way up the island. So, like, about, okay, about the same level as the, the peninsula itself. No, actually about, like, halfway between the peninsula and Dagger Beach. Then at that point, the, the dark green, like, intercepts... The corner here so we've got like darker green about like here and that then goes like that then goes up a bit to like the big mountain bit so let's just kind of put like as a placeholder a big circle to mark that this is where big mountain is then we've got like the green round here so that's like the the boundary of the sea but we know there's also going slightly is it beyond is it beyond the mountain or is it about maybe about the same i need to walk this beach because i need to know 
how far this bit of beach goes versus Big Mountain. And also whether Big Mountain's truly in the centre, because I think it actually it might not be. I think Big Mountain might actually be like a little bit more orientated towards the... Yeah, towards like the northeast of the island. It's not actually in the centre at all, because there's a fair bit of space to the west of Big Mountain, which is where the forest grows. Whereas over here, yeah, I think it's relatively closer to the ocean, probably. And yeah, the ocean bit that's kind of this little inlet sea is definitely further along. And there's actually not much around here, to be honest. I'm sure I'm sure I'm down. I can really climb up there because I don't think I've got a... No, I've got no jump or anything. I literally just move around with Wasad and that's all I've got. And around here, the beach is... There's a beach around here as well. Okay, don't worry about the beach for now. Let's worry about the inlet. Ooh! Hello! Are you a sheep or a giant sugar cube? So what we've got is, yeah, we've got a new beach that kind of comes around here and the inside around here. So that's kind of... that's that's like that, right? Yeah, that's just like that. Then it actually goes around and then it sticks out a bit over in like this... Oh no, a bit, a bit more like over here. Hang on, get the, get the eraser, get the eraser, get rid of that bit. Yep, lovely. Yeah, it's a bit further. Then it goes around. Then it comes... How far does it come? Okay, it comes in fairly last minute, so it's like that. Then that books around there, and then we've got ourselves some lovely beach. I'm just going to colour in the beach around here so that we know that's a beach. And the beach is quite narrow all the way around. So that's fine. It's a quite a narrow beach around here. It goes up here, it goes around here, and then it probably goes out to like a... Uh, a point over there. So I'm now going to colour in the beach so that we know that's a beach. Because th this is how, you know, making a map works. Okay, I've also coloured in the green bits. Now to avoid confusion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least like partly colour in the blue so people know that this is the inlet sea over here. So we're going to colour that in. We don't just colour in all the ocean. I think we can just like colour in like a little bit of the ocean just so people understand, yeah, this is where the water is. Lovely. But for the most part, we can just draw... No, not that. But for the most part, we can just draw little waves to indicate this is an ocean. Alright, lovely. And we can also draw one like sea serpent in the ocean, kind of coming in and out with its little, like, its little face. And it can be a happy sea serpent. Happy sea serpent. Okay. Ha happy, 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 happy sea serpent. Yep, there we are. It looks pretty happy and that's just a little sea serpent so everyone knows don't go swimming because you will die okay so i'm gonna head up to like the oh wait hang on this is the northern point oh dear this is the northern point of the island up here the the north point of the island is about yeah kind of what i've not really got as the north point because actually i've orientated it a bit badly because actually, yeah, the, the ocean should be more, or the inland sea should be more in the north. I think kind of like the whole thing should like be rotated like a little bit like that way. So it's like a little bit more to the, ah, uh, that's okay, fine. You know what? Small things. This is this is just basic 101 cartography. We haven't got everything down yet, but it's fine. Um, so on the inside, yeah, we've got a really narrow beach, which is what I actually expected to see. So around here, the beach gets increasingly narrow as we go around the top of the island, which is actually what I expected to see. So we'll get the yellow and we'll kind of say that the beach loops around here, but we know that actually, I don't think they actually join up, do they? No, they don't join up. So we're going to say that the beach kind of wears out about like here-ish and gets narrow as it goes along. So we're going to create more beach right there. So now we've got this beach and that's lovely. And the rest of it, like joining up the after the beach, it kind of goes to the to the light green, and the light green loops down to the top of where the inland sea is. Okay, so we should probably put that on too. So then we get after that, we just get like a little bit that's just round here. And well, actually, assuming there's, there's not more, but I don't think there is. I think it's like after this point, this can just like be coloured in now. There's just like a little bit of green down this way, okay? So we'll just come right here, but I need to kind of head around here because I need to figure out what the mysterious sheep cube is. It could be anything. And technically, uh, the beach could continue a bit further along around here, but actually, I suspect it does. We might need to, like, add on. Yeah, we just need to add on a little line of 
little line of yellow just like right around the outside around here we have kind of written over the compass here just to indicate there is a very very small sandbar and we need to check whether or not it actually joins up at the bottom because that's important and there's a steep slope here we should probably like be doing those flip what are they called what's the thing we're on a map where you like you put lines together where if they're close together it says this is steep and if they're far apart it means this isn't steep those it's been a while since i've like done like camping or whatever like i did if you're in the uk you'll, you'll know this i did the duke of edinburgh award i did duke of edinburgh bronze in fact um i'm not really much of an outside sort of a person uh to be honest so after i did bronze i basically said i never wanted to go camping again and I've pretty much stuck to that for well over a decade at this point, so I'd say I've done a pretty bloody good job. Yeah, we've got mysterious white glowing box here. Need to investigate mysterious white glowing box. Nope, the mysterious glowing cube, we simply do not know what it is. Suspicious thing. Fine. Well, we're going to put that on the map, which is we're just going to put little mysterious thing here, mark of interest. If I die and someone finds this map later, they will know there was a mysterious thing we didn't really understand right there. So they can investigate the mysterious box. Now, does the sand go around the outside and join up with... No, I think it forms like... Yeah, it's like two cliffs on the edge of the inlet around here. But I think the sand might just... Just technically link up around the outside. It's just not much. There's actually quite a big bit of green at the edge here, so I should probably try and represent that as well. So, do you link together? Looks like you... Yes, you just do. Fine. So, get the yellow. And we'll put a little bit of yellow around there. But we also need, like, more green in this area to indicate the beach is narrow and there's more green here than there is further up. So, that is a bit better. Yeah, that's nice. So, now we can just also put a bit more green around here. Also, if you've downloaded this and you're playing along, um, don't press escape when you're in the map. You need to press M again to open and close the map. Because if you press um, escape again, then you will just actually close the game, which is unfortunate. Which I did several times before we actually started recording properly, so don't do what I did. Now, we need to head around the, the north of the island in order to check what's going on there. Then we need to try and see what we can do in terms of big mountain, because I suspect... We're going to struggle to properly cartographise Big Mountain because we don't actually have the right colour pencils, which is unfortunate because, yeah, I got kind of, you know, washed ashore with only blue, yellow and two greens, which is fine. What happens when there's kind of flipping these reddish, purplish, whatever hills? Also, let's get the scale of Big Mountain right. So Big Mountain at kind of its most easterly extreme goes up to where I think the peninsula is. It's most northern extreme. It's not as far north as the tip of the lake. Then at its kind of most west... Wait, westerly? No, yes, yes, westerly. It's most westerly. It kind of... Ooh, actually, it's more steep that end, but actually it kind of more staggers down a little bit further in terms of just like the bit we can climb on this side. So maybe not really. It shouldn't be represented as a as a circle. Actually, perhaps it should be represented more like kind of a triangle sort of a shape. And also, what shape's the beach down there? Yeah, the beach just loop round. There's nothing too interesting there, but this is where the biggest area of green is. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of Big Mountain right now, and we're going to slightly redo it. We're going to redo Big Mountain. So, need to redo Big Mountain, so it's kind of like around here. It's pretty big, and it goes up to like there. And that's like, it's pretty steep in this area, but then I think actually it's kind of more like this sort of a shape, actually. Uh, but then it's kind of, yeah, got like a big kind of top layer up here, and then like little bits like around here. So we'll just kind of, you know, represent those like that. We've also got like, this is where I'd say like the greenery gets pretty thick around here so there's like there's a load of greenery around here we'll actually draw a little tree to indicate this is where the trees are there we go now we're cartographying or whatever the verb to cartography is i don't think there's any around here so that's just like marked in green to mark grass so actually we probably should mark them in darker because then we can mark the rest in green to indicate there is still grass here it's just there's trees too so put a couple of trees around here. There we go. Lovely. And then we'll just kind of put the rest a bit of green around there too. Okay. That is... I think it's like there's a bit of darker 
It's a bit of darker stuff around here, so we'll just kind of do that. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. I should probably actually... Oh, do I want to use the dark green to give, like, a border? No, I think we're fine. I think we need the border. Now, can you climb any of the... These slopes. You can drop down cliffs without it being a problem. I don't think you can actually climb any of this. So, unless you can, like, climb this rock or something. Can you climb? No. No, sadly, I don't think she can. So, if we want to figure out what's going on here. Yeah, there's a bunch of little rocks on, like, the, um, the westerly extreme. Together with a whole bunch of trees. Oh, actually, there's some that stick out here. So, ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, hang on. So now we know, actually, there's a few more kind of little bumpy rocks around here as well. So there's, like, those rocks there will just kind of mark like that. It's a bit messy, but, you know, it'll be fine. People will figure out what we mean. Uh, we might be able to actually get... Ooh! Ooh, actually, we can get up the mountain. Look, there's a slope there. Ah! Okay, we need to mark that there's a path. Um, so probably, we should probably do, like, the path. So, yeah, if you mark there's, like, a path around here, this is not going to be obvious, but it's going to be... I think obvious enough that we're trying to indicate this path. Okay, we need to show the path for how you get up the mountain so that future explorers can get up the mountain nice and easily because if you come around here, around, yeah, between uh, the bumpy rocks that stick out and the actual hill here, there is actually mysterious white box. If they will want to know what your secrets are, damn it. Then, yeah, if you climb up here, then you can get at least part of the way up the mountain. Ah! You know what I should have done? I should have come up here first. Because from the top, I'll be able to see you down way, way better. Yeah. Okay, also, I've drawn the wrong style of tree. Because I've kind of drawn evergreen trees. And these aren't really evergreen trees. So, there's a big rock there blocking up a cave. Don't worry about that. I don't think we need to, like, mark every single individual rock. Turtle rock is special. That shall be our first rock and perhaps only rock. So, is there actually going to be a path around here? Yep. We can totally keep going up and about here. Marvellous. So... Keep marking this. We need to keep marking that if you kind of go around, yeah, between the rocks and then around the corner, there is totally a path here. So if we can get up to the top. We can actually check the the island. We can actually check whether our map's in any way good. Actually, pretty damn well. And then, yep, you just need to turn back on yourself and you'll keep going up. Lovely. Though, actually, there is more way to go around here, but I think that is... I don't think that goes anywhere. But, yeah, you can actually get to the top of the mountain. Nice. There's no music in this game, by the way. I've just added music. This game is actually silent because it was originally a browser game. So uh, the music I've just selected, I don't know what I'm going to select now, but hopefully I'm going to select something, you know, nice and relaxing. It will be very inappropriate if I added something a bit kind of, you know, big and aggressive or anything like that. And up we come to the summit of the mountain. Ah, oh, beautiful. Right, okay. So we need to mark that we came back this way and then finally up to the top and ta-da, marvellous. If I'm going to die here, that's where I'm going to die because I'm going to die up top. But from up here, I can actually see what's going on. So now if I, yeah, if I look due north, I can actually, that's not so bad. It's not that the lake's north, like part of the lake is north. Like um, the left shore of the lake should be kind of like in the middle of the island on the north. And then you've got, yeah, the beach gets bigger on the west, and then it kind of narrows down to the dagger point, which is fine. Then you've got the big section of the trees here. Then you've got, yeah, the little sticky outy peninsula, which we've got. Turtle Rock down there, very important. Then the inlet, and then as long as you can, like, mark, yeah, there's the mysterious white box we need to investigate, and then you've actually got the the trees. Oh, you've got a bit more green. You know, I should probably mark the trees there. Hang on, let's just get, um, let's just get an extra tree marker over here there we go tree marked over there um are there trees at the north what's the kind of the furthest point where there's trees on? no there's not really trees on that side of the island at all the trees are basically only in this bit so actually i am pretty happy with that i am pretty happy with that actually yeah i think my map's actually pretty damn good all things considered so that's my map Let's just quickly add a little bit of extra blue around here. Make sure we've got a bit of extra blue on the side there. Lovely. Yep, there we go. That, I'd say, is a pretty bloody perfect map of this island. If you've been playing along with me, I hope you've had fun. 
do feel free to post links to your island maps. Just take a screen cap and post links to your island map in the comments below. We shall see who has managed to do a better map than me. But yes, this is chill and chart. And it's just a game about wandering slowly around a peaceful island where there's nothing, you know, threatening or anything apart from the mysterious stupid white box. I wish I knew your secrets. But I've marked that on the map too. I've marked that on the map too. So future explorers can figure out the secrets of the mysterious box. And you just wander around an island and you make a map. And for whatever reason, I find that to just be the most ludicrously relaxing thing. I feel very, very chill indeed. So you know what? <laughs> That's that. It's entirely 100% free. If you feel like wandering around an island and charting it, then this, this is what you do. Link in the description below. It's 100% free. Browse the game or download it if you wish. So I feel chill and I'm going to go and have a cup of tea now, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a Truder. And this has been the Truder Rather Relaxing Chill and Chart. Thank you very much and goodbye. What the hell? All right, we've now got a Scottish zombie traveling with us. Oh, he's actually quite good now. And he's got over his drinking problem, which is, oh, he eats human flesh. He's got some decent carrying capacity. Okay, fine, he eats people, but come on, let's not be flipping judgmental about this.